Hello fellow makeup addicts, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do this look. I did it two ways, one more like a mask and then one this way. I like this one better. I um, I have to admit that I, I'm lending out my Jawbreaker palette. I'm lending out my Jawbreaker palette to a friend and I, I'm so happy to do that, but then it was just so funny. I was like oh, getting like separation anxiety. I'm like, oh my god, like what am I gonna do like without my jawbreaker palette? <laughs> so I I wanted to do something very colorful and I'm about to do a lip swatch video for the new Velvet Trap lipsticks. I'm not sure if I'm making that separate or not but I thought I would make a colorful kind of look so that like all the lip colors would look good with this. So that's kind of where I was going with this. So um, yeah, so I just used the Delicious um, F Brain Freeze Gumdrop and Sour and Good Morning and um, Snack. So I really, really wanted to do like navy and pink. I think navy and pink look so cool together. I really wanted to, to do this on my lids, the Lick My Glit. Uh, I really wanted to do a look with this on my lid. And as you can see here, it's very sparkly in the center. So yeah, stay tuned for, um, stay tuned for this. And I will show you how to get this look. Okay, so I'm starting out with my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer just on the upper portion right underneath my brow line. I'm just patting that in really good, really smooth and just patting it in really good blended out. And I'm blending and setting that with Good Morning, which is a very pale pink and just making sure that I get all of that tapped in really good so that the pastels are easier to blend and it dried out a little bit so I added a tiny bit more uh, so I'm going in now with brain freeze which is beautiful pastel blue gorgeous it's gonna look really really great with the navy so I'm just blending that into my inner upper crease area then I'm using gumdrop which is the most gorgeous lilac shade ever it's my favorite I hit pan already <laughs> And then I'm going in with F, U, C, K, <laughs> which is a gorgeous, like a hot coral color. And with this shade, I wanted this one to kind of go like on at an up sweep um, to kind of contour my, um, my temple area. And I wanted that to go up because the next color I'm going to do kind of an out sweep wet look for an um an added cat eye look so basically this is sour and i'm just blending that one out and i used f-u-c-k up so just blending those in together and then micro blending each color in together very finely and just making sure that i have the angles that i want always checking angles you can contour this color to your head shape and that's what i love about this so I'm just blending all of those colors in and now I'm going in with Delicious on a very flat brush and creating right in the crease, the deepest part of the crease, I'm creating that line and I'm going all the way in my inner corner, like down the arch of my nose a little bit inside and I'm getting really tightly in my inner corner crease area of that bone and then I'm just right here I'm just kind of micro blending the two shades together because I want my this inner area to be very sharp then I'm just going along and creating this elongated eye shape kind of like this cat eye mask look that I am still obsessed with after all this time. I just really like how it looks on my eyes and I just think that it's 
just a beautiful cat eye sort of look. So I'm just blending that shade in really well. It's a very dark color, delicious, this navy color, so I'm just blending it in really well. Then I'm taking a clean brush and blending all of those shades in together so that they're really soft and diffused. Then I'm going back in with Delicious and deepening that crease up really good so it looks very, very dark while the rest of it is extremely blended and diffused and upswept. So just a lot of blending and a lot of time, but that's okay. This is beauty and art. We take our time here. <laughs> now I'm just cleaning that up with some micellar water and a brush and just wiping it off clean and taking the excess from my eyeball with a wipey, getting it all nice and clean. Then I'm using Extra Spicy. It's the paints from P. Louise. It's the new pastels and I am absolutely obsessed with them. This is just one color. I've already ordered another, um, the other colors. I'm loving them. They're so beautiful. You don't even have to set them with anything, but I just, I love the versatility and look how freaking opaque that is. It's just so pale and I thought it would look incredible up against the dark navy and I was right. Look, it looks so cool. So I really wanted to create this um, pink and navy sort of look because I really, really wanted to use the Lick My Glit and um, I just really wanted like a monochromatic pink look and this, I, I really like how this turned out. So I just, after patting that in, I took I took all of the pinks because there are such a plethora of shade, pink shades. So I took Snack in the inner part and then I took lit, lit My Glit in the center. And you can even see here just how chromatic that is. It's just so beautiful. Then I took a little bit of bubble gum, tiny bit, and cotton candy. And I just alternated with the deeper on the out side. What I'm doing here is I'm contouring my eye. I really, really wanted this to be a pink chromatic shade uh, look, but I really wanted it to be custom to my eyes and to make it uh, my eyes very contoured. So it still looks pink, but very contoured. Then I thought, you know what? It would look really cool with some really hot, bright blue liner. So I'm using this NYX Brights liner and just kind of creating the shape. I didn't want it to be very thick and chunky. I kind of still wanted to keep it feminine. I really like how feminine the pink looks and I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit feminine. So, but I wanted to keep it bright and bold. So I'm using this liner, just going along my lash line to create a basic shape so that I can connect the edges later. Then I'm taking Delicious and trying to create the rest of this color blocked look, kind of boxing that in and creating this, the rest of the shape of my mask. Also the lashes I'm using, I'm so crazy about these lashes now, uh, ride or die. So this eye you can see a little bit better when I do this eye, I think. Um, but ride or die from Cami Nguyen and just bringing Delicious a little bit underneath the lash line on this eye I decided to do it first and then connect and go up and it didn't really make a difference I found out but I really for you guys I wanted you to be able to see how it got connected so I just did it backwards from the other eye but regardless it doesn't matter the nice thing about this is you can make it towards on your bone or you can make it any shape that you want and just clean it up like um, just clean the outer shape with um, blank canvas or your concealer or whatever if you don't like the shape. But I basically just wanted to create this eye shape. Um, and, and now I'm just connecting the edges and the corners really well and making them out swept. Now I'm connecting the bright blue eyeliner and you can actually customize this as well according to your eye shape. Like I said, you can make this a much thicker wing. I just wanted to keep it feminine here 
and in retrospect it would have actually really looked nice with the thicker wing as well but like I said I really really loved how it con the shades of the pink shades deepened and contoured my eyes so beautifully I just really kind of wanted that to be the star so I just kind of boxed everything in with the bright blue eyeliner and I really really love how it turned out I think it turned out gorgeous and I, I actually did really like these lashes I normally go for a bigger lash but I really liked these with it they're a little bit more feminine and I'm going in with this bright blue under the sea um, Marc Jacobs eyeliner in my waterline Okay, it's getting darker, but we're still going here. This one I knew was going to be one of my favorites because from the Alien palette collection, one of my favorite colors was Triggered. It's that deep dark plum. And Jeffrey made a medieval kiss that looks exactly like Triggered. So this is my other favorite color. Now, I lined it with unicorn blood. Obviously, a darker liner would be better. But what's nice about this, let me get a brush. What's nice about this is unicorn blood does kind of give it like a more of a berry sort of outer sweep tone. And so if you want that tone, then on the outer edges, actually, I kind of like that. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. I highly recommend trying this product. And thank you so much for joining us.